Hi, this is TV's dad with Alan Ruck, who is an actor from Hollywood, uh, best known for playing Cameron in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and for playing Captain Harriman in Star Trek Generations, which is a very interesting uh, performance. Well, thank you. Uh, starting off with Ferris Bueller, where you were, uh, your character was the best friend of Ferris, and uh, as I recall correctly, uh, Ferris Bueller interceded in Cameron's career path through school, which would have led him into a corporate life. Is that correct? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. He, he, he interceded with his career path to, to guide him into corporate America? Well, no, no, no. Uh, uh, by taking an unscheduled time away from school and, yeah. and leading him on a set, a set of adventures that uh, Cameron might not normally yeah. have gone on. Cameron got to experience a different type of life that might have been more suited for him, correct? Oh, yeah. I, we can, yeah, we can say that, yeah. Okay. Now, an interesting question. Do you think, in retrospect, now that a few years have passed, would you say that Ferris was right? To, to try to uh, get Cameron back into life, so to speak? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's always right. Yeah, I think he did the right thing. Okay, so you think the character of, uh, of uh, Cameron would have probably become a very neurotic type of... Well, you know, I think he probably still was neurotic, but he just had a, a, a greater appreciation for life. Okay. Didn't think it was all bad, you know? Now, here's the real question. Do you think that Ferris was skating by on personality and charm, or do you think he had a real talent? I mean, I think, I, I think he used his personality and charm to get away with, you know, basically get away with murder, but uh, I think he... Uh, I think he had a you know a talent for living, and I think he really he really liked Cameron. I think that they were really good friends, so I think he had an enormous heart, you know. So he's he's kind of like a bandit, you know. He's kind of like a, a thief with a heart of gold. Okay. Now was that an important film for you? Oh yeah, it was huge. I um I had some small parts in some uh, movies and TV shows before that, but um, that was my first. Well, actually, it's the best part I've ever had in a movie. So uh, it was, yeah, it was huge for me. Okay, all right. Well, a, f a few years later, you did get another very high-profile character. You played Captain Harriman, uh, the original captain of the Enterprise B right. uh, in Star Trek Generations, as I said, um, which was an, an interesting character to play because in the history of Star Trek films, it really is the only captain of a starship who is portrayed as not very competent. Right. Right. Was, was that disappointing at all? No. I mean, you know, they, they all can't be heroes, you know. I mean, somebody's got to make mistakes, otherwise there wouldn't be a story. But, um, you know, there was no sort of explanation as to how this guy, this relatively young and inexperienced guy, got commanded this amazing ship. So I made up my own backstory in my mind that, um, you know, uh, human beings were involved so there's still room for corruption and I figured that my family was uh, wealthy and they basically pulled strings and basically bought this job for me as sort of a political stepping stone so I think that maybe uh, at that point you know John really wasn't uh, he really wasn't he didn't have the temperament to be a good soldier that maybe he was looking at this as just uh, a step in a public career, a stepping stone, you know? We, vi we revisited that character, you know, uh, in of Gods and Men. So that was fun. That was fun to come back to that guy basically 15 years later and... Uh, See how he progressed. Right. Now, of Gods and Men was the Star Trek, it was a fan-made production, uh, which was uh, an interesting story behind those films, if I understand correctly. Paramount sanctioned their being made so long as nobody made a cent off of them. That's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think the idea so far is just to see uh, how it would do, because James Cawley had been doing um, the New Voyages for a while, and he has this amazing set in upstate New York that's, you know, yeah. it's the Enterprise. And um, so uh, Sky Conway and some other people uh, got together and they got Walter Koenig involved and then Michelle Nichols and then myself and a, a bunch of people that have been, you know, uh, J.G. Hertzler and Ethan Hawke, a lot of, I mean, Ethan Hawke, Ethan, um, Johnny, Ethan Phillips, um, 
a lot of people that have been involved in, in the shows. Uh, so, yeah, it just went straight to straight to the internet, and the first two episodes are out. You'll be able to download the next one next month, and yeah. So, what, what, which is more fun to work on, the fan films or the? Uh well, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was kind of a, a combination between a professional film and a fan film, because uh, uh, there were professional, you know, screenwriters involved, and Tim Russ directed it, and so we had a lot of people, uh, you know, professional people working on it, uh, and then, you know, we were using uh, James Cawley's set, and uh, so it was kind of it was kind of like an indie. It was kind of like a low budget, you know. So um, it was fun to do. I enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. All right. Now you have uh, you have a career doing uh, stage as well. Yeah, I, I, I noticed a photo here from the producers. Yeah, I did. I, I toured around with the producers in 2004, and then I did it in New York for about four months in uh, early 2005. Yeah, you played Leo Bloom. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I think maybe that was the one musical that uh, I'm suited to do. I think I've had my musical experience. So yeah. You don't consider yourself a singer as a role? Uh, I can carry a tune, but I'm not really a singer, no. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so are you working in any projects now? Uh, I'm in The Happening, which is opening up uh, next month. I have a part in that. Um, at Christmas time, there's a movie coming out called Ghost Town with Ricky Gervais and Taya Leone and Greg Kinnear. Uh, I have a part in that show. And then uh, I'm just finishing up one now called uh, uh, I Love You, Beth Cooper. I've heard something about that. Uh, Hayden Panettiere from Heroes is the star. And uh, I actually play uh, the father in a teen comedy now. So uh, I'm finally getting to move on to the next level. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye out for you. Uh, very much appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Thank you. Appreciate it.